Good evening. How was your day today? Remember that today is the last day of class in the week. Okay? But for tomorrow, you have to have completed all the exercises from section one and section two. Okay? Yes, teacher. So we will start with the class. To let the others get in. Good evening. And how are you working on the section? There are several of you that they report that you have not complete the two sections. So you have from today up to tomorrow at 10 in the morning, they say, to complete the exercises. If you have any doubts, we can solve them today, okay? Well, this is the fourth class. Section two, two things are infinite, the universe and human stupidity. And I'm not sure about the universe. <laughs> I love Albert Einstein. <laughs> two things are infinite, the universe in human stupidity. I think that he, he, he has met some Salvadorian politicians. <laughs> From the past. Okay. Now. And the lesson objective for this section is that you will listen to vocabulary related to containers following this part a conversation between a pharmacist and a customer will take place modal verbs for requests and suggestions are introduced okay let's see how many people is in the class now almost half well we will continue with the class and we will go to the exercise when most of you are already in the class because I think it's not time yet. No, one minute. Now I, I, I have the class here. I can do it. So we will be listening. I hope that we can listen it well. Well. Let's see. Three point. No, I guess it's 2.8. Pharmacist. Container. Okay. Now listen. To listen to, we will introduce modal verbs for suggestions and requests. Can you listen to it? Yes. Okay. Yes, teacher. Request. 
please practice the conversation with a classmate or a friend as it is important to repeat for better understanding. Listen and practice. Hi, may I help you? Yes, please. Could I have something for a cough? I think I'm getting a cold. Well, I suggest a box of these cough drops. Thank you. And what do you suggest for dry skin? Try some of this new lotion. It's very good. Okay. And one more thing. My husband has no energy these days. Can you suggest anything? He should try some of these multivitamins. They're excellent. Great. May I have three large bottles, please? <laughs> okay. Poor guy. A classmate or a friend, as it is important to repeat for better understanding. Listen and practice. Hi, may I help you? Yes. Okay. Hi, may I help you? 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 Please. Could I have something for a cough? Yes, please. Yes, yes, yes. Could I have something for a cough? Could I have something for a cough? Could I have something for a cough? I think I'm getting a cold. I think I am getting a cold. I think I am getting a cold. I think I am getting a cold. Okay. Well, I suggest a box of these cough drops. Well, I suggest a box of these cough drops. Cough drops. Cough drops. Thank you. And what do you suggest for dry skin? Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. What did you get for dry skin? For dry skin. For dry skin. Try some of this new lotion. It's very. Try some of this new lotion. It's very good. It's very good. Very good. Okay. And one more thing. Okay. My husband has no energy these days. My husband has no energy these days. Can you suggest anything? Can you suggest anything? Anything? He should try some of these multivitamins. They're excellent. He should try some of these multivitamins. They're excellent. They're excellent. Great. May I have three large bottles, please? Great. Great. May I have three large bottles? May I have three large bottles, please? Okay. Now, do you want to repeat again? Yes or no? Yes, teacher, please. Okay. Yes. Hi, yes, may teacher. I help you? Hi, Hi may, may, I I help you? You? may I help you? Yes, please. Yes, yes please. Yes, please. Could I have something for a cough? I have some for a cough. I think I am getting a cold. I think I am getting a cold. Well, I suggest a box of this cough drop. Well, I suggest a box of this cough drop. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. And what do you suggest for dry skin? What do you suggest for dry skin? Try some of this new lotion. 
It's very good. It's very good. Very good. Okay, and one more thing. Okay, okay. And one more, one more thing. thing. My husband has no energy these days. My, My husband has no energy, energy, energy these days. Day. Can you suggest anything? Can you suggest anything? anything? He could try some of these multivitamins. He should try some of these multivitamins. They're excellent. They're excellent. Great. Great. May I have three large bottles, please? We have three large bottles, please. Una consultita. Vale, ahorita creo que sí, ya estamos todos. Este, ¿Hacemos el ejercicio que dejamos pendiente ayer o hacemos el, eh, por parejas eh, la conversación? Primero el ejercicio. The exercise teacher. Exercise. Ok, that's. You know, I like to take into consideration what you want. Ok. Eh, ¿ya, ¿Ya estamos ahí con el ejercicio? ¿Se puede ver? Sí. Yes. Ok, permítanme que lo voy a poner más grandecito. ¿Verdad que necesitan más grandecito? Sí. Yes. ¿Ustedes me dicen hasta dónde? Ahí? Yes. Yes. Okay. Now, read the following questions. Write the best advice for each health problem. Remember to use the infinite infinitive complement. You do not need to rewrite what is in the bracket. Okay? What should I do? for a sore throat. It's important to take some vitamin to take, C. To take okay. some, some vitamin C, okay? To drink. Now, okay. Uh, someone to read number two okay. and give okay. the, the solution. What should I do for whenever it's a good idea to drink? To drink, teacher. To drink. To drink, teacher. To drink lots of liquids. Okay, now number three. To put. To put. It's sometimes helpful. To put. To put. Some ointment on it. Okay. Now number four. Please write uh, 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 read the question and the in the answer. Okay. Number four. To go. To go. To. Uh -huh. It's important. To go. To go. To. To go to. to, go to. to. To go to a dentist, to go to a dentist. Okay, what should I do for a cough? It's a good to idea. Take. To, take. To, take. To, take. to take to take some medicine. Okay, let's send it. Yes, 33 okay. over 33. All of you have the answers, or do you want to copy it? Eh... Say it. <laughs> en el número okay. cuatro, teacher, yo le repuesto. Let, sí, let's sí. read it again. Number one, what should I do for a sore throat? It's important to take some vitamin C. Hey, repeat after me. What should I do for a sore throat? What, what should I do for a sore throat? 
eh, y aquí está mal escrito, sir. Okay. It's important to take some vitamin C. It's important to take some vitamin C. Teacher, I have a question. Uh -huh. Because the other teachers say vitamins. Well, it depends. Remember that uh, in some places they uh, use it one way and in other places they use it another way. Because remember that uh, even when it's English, uh, mm -hmm. there are different regions and in different regions they, they use it in different ways. Even okay, if, and... if, you, if you heard an, an uh, British English is very different mm -hmm. from American English. Okay, teacher, and I can use but? Yes, you can, you can use either or. Okay, teacher, thanks. Okay. Now, number two, what should I do for a fever? Well, what should I do for a fever? It's a good idea. It's a good idea. It's a good idea. idea. To drink lots of liquid. To drink, drink lots of liquid. Okay. Number three. What should I do for a burn? What should I do for a burn? It's sometimes helpful. It's sometimes to put some ointment on it. Okay, somebody asked for number four. I guess that he has it wrong because he doesn't put the, the, the other two here. What should I do for a toothache? It's important to go to a dentist. Okay, maybe that's why you have problems there. You have to write to go to a dentist. For example, to she, teacher. Pardon? For example, to she, it's important to she, a dentist. Uh, to see a dentist. Yes, you may use it. Have you used it and, and they uh, put it correct? Yes. Yes, teacher. Okay. But if you notice, here is correct too. Maybe there are more than one right answer. To see, maybe to visit too. It is important no. to visit a dentist. No, you may visit go and not. visit a dentist. <laughs> okay. But here we put to go to, and it is correct. Okay. And you say to see, to see a dentist. Okay. Yes, but I wrote. in my I case, wrote. Mm -hmm. in my case, I don't go to see the dentist. When I am with the dentist, I close my eyes. <laughs> I don't want to see what they are doing there <laughs> and what they are using to do it. <laughs> Sometimes it, uh, when you are seeing something, it's more stressful for you. Okay, so it's better to close your eyes and let it go. <laughs> okay, number five. What should I do for a cup? What should I do for a cup? For a cup. Good idea to take some medicine. Remember that yesterday we were talking about my tea. Today my my son come very very bad from from the school, and we, we have to make him the tea. And he is drinking it, and he is getting better. Okay. Now let's see. This is the other part 
we will go to the class. Okay. Now. Eh, volunteers. Volunteers. Me, teacher. Okay. And who else? Me, teacher. Okay, Katia. And Elmer. Yes. Okay. Go ahead. Hi. May I help you? ¿Qué pasó? I don't know. Daisy, go ahead. Se nos fue la otra. Sorry, teacher. Ah, okay. <laughs> no, no, sorry, teacher. Okay. Sorry. Okay. Then Katia. Yes. Yes, please. Could I have something for a call? I think I am getting a call. Well, I su suggest a box of these cold drops. Thank you. I, what do you just su suggest for dry skin? Try, try some of this new lotion. It's very good. Okay. And one more thing, my husband has no energy this day. Can you suggest anything? He shall try some of these multivitamins. They're excellent. Great. May I have three large bottles, please? Okay, thank you very much. What I wonder if if she wants the three bottles only for her, her husband, or if she wants to give it to other people. <laughs> okay, I, I am bad, you know. Okay, now, uh, other two volunteers, Daisy and who else? Me? Elba? Okay, go ahead. Yeah. Daisy, you first. Okay. And my, I help you? Yes, please. Could I have some time for a call? I think I am getting a call. Well, I suggest a vote of these cup drops. Thank you. And what do you suggest? For dry skin? Try some of these new lotion. It's very good. Okay. And um, one more thing. My husband has no energy this day. Can you do anything? Hey, so try some of these multivitamins. They're excellent. Great. May I have three layer of butter, please? Okay, thank you very much. Now, other two volunteers. My teacher. Okay. Me. Marisol. Who else? Mr. Oscar, I think he raises okay. his hand. Okay. Hi. Okay. Hi. May I help you? Yes, please. Could I have something for a call? I think I am getting a call. Well, I suggest, I suggest a box of the call drops. Thank you. And what do you do such as from dry skin? Try some of the this, this new lotion. lotion. This is very good. Okay, and one more thing. My husband has no energy these days. So in my, my husband has no energy these days. 
Can you suggest Can you anything? He showed that some of these activities. They are excellent. Great. My, may I have three large, large bottles, bottles, please? Okay, thank you very much. Now, other two volunteers. Me, teacher. Okay, Dina, Elizabeth, and who else? Teacher. Yes. Uh, me again, because I, I say uh, pharma. Okay, go ahead. Okay. Es que ya fui Mr. Mr. W. <laughs> Okay, Mrs. Okay, okay teacher. Uh, okay, Mrs. You want to be yes, the pharmacist. Okay, go okay. ahead. Okay. Hi, may I help you? Yes, please call. I had something for a coach. I think I am getting a call. Cough. Well, a cough. cough. Es como que fuera una F. Esa U-G-H suena como oh. F. Oh. Cough. Uh -huh. Okay, thank you. You're well, welcome. I suggest a box of these Coke drops. Thank you. And what do, do you suggest for dry skin? Oh, sorry. Uh huh. Okay, try some of this new lotion. It's very good. Okay, and one more thing. My husband has not has no energy these days. Can you suggest anything? He should try some of these multivitamins. They're excellent. Great. May I have three large water, please? Okay, thank you very much. Thank you. You're welcome, teacher. Now, other two volunteers. Me, teacher. Okay, Miguel Angel. Who else? Hi, my head, you. Uh, wait, Can I you? am looking for, for your partner. Ah, okay, okay, okay. Adam Mendoza? Okay. Yes. No, teacher. Yes, please. Okay, go ahead. Yes, yes, please. Could I have something for a call? I think I am getting a call. Well, I suggest a box of this cough drop. Thank you. I, what do you suggest for dry skin? Suggest, suggest. Suggest for dry skin? Python of this new notion is very good. Okay, and one more thing. My husband has no energy this day. Can you suggest anything? He should three some of the multivitamins. They're excellent. Great, may I have three large bottles, please? <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. Beer, teacher. <laughs> Esos botes grandes de vitaminas traen 120 pastillas. O sea, tienen para, qué sé yo, como cuatro meses. Y ella quiere tres. Yo, para todo el año. Para todo el año. Yo, sí. Ok. Now, other two volunteers o no more volunteers? No? Okay, let's see. In this part, participants will be introduced to use of modal verbs can, could, and may for requests and suggestions. Can, could, and may for requests. Here we have permission, ability, and general truth. Okay. They are a type of auxiliary verb we use with other verbs to add a more meaning to the verb. 
After modal verbs, we use the infinitive form without to. Okay? Why do we say that it's the infinitive? Because uh, for the third person singular, you don't take the agreement of the verb. O sea, cuando usted está ocupando la tercera persona del singular, no le va a poner este, el agreement del verbo, que es cuando sí. se usa, digamos, work, work, do, does, ¿verdad? Que se pone tercera persona de, del singular. Entonces, cuando usted ocupa modal auxiliary, el verbo va en su forma simple, ¿verdad? Now. Models are not used with the auxiliary verb do to form the negatives. We add not after the model. O sea que para hacer el negativo y para hacer el interrogativo, el modal auxiliary sirve como auxiliar. Usted no necesita ni de do ni del verbo to be, ni el verbo have, ¿verdad? Para hacer el negativo o para hacer la pregunta. We are not after the model. To ask questions, we put the model in front of the subject. Hey, you couldn't pass me that place, could you? Can I have a taste? Okay, if you notice, you couldn't pass. We have the model auxiliary could plus the not, but in this case, uh, is uh, abbreviation, okay? And could you, podrías, and can I have a taste? O sea, podría probarlo? Can I have a taste? Now, repeat after me. Models do not change in the third person singular. Models do not change in the first person singular for he, she, and it. For he, she, it. In the pre in the present simple. In the present simple. Sophie can send photos. Sophie can send photos. Se fijan ahí, es tercera persona de singular, es chi, ¿verdad? Sophie. Ok. Now, we use good like. We use good like. A lot for offers. A lot for offers. It's very useful for different situations. It's very useful for different situations. Would you like to come to our house for dinner? Would you, Would you like to go to our house for dinner? Dice que hasta dónde lo voy a anotar. Cake. Would you like some cake? Would you like some cake? Would you like to celebrate Chinese New Year with us? Would you like to celebrate Chinese New Year with us? In my case, I would like to, to celebrate uh, the main uh, celebrations of different uh, cultural things. I would like to, especially if food is involved. <laughs> I love to eat. I love to cook and I love to eat. Okay, now. Sure. Yes. Uh, a, a question. Mm -hmm. uh, or con like, uh, su significado, o sea, o siempre debe Good de like. ir así ¿Te como gustaría? Unido. ¿Te gustaría? O sea, es como la terminación IA. ¿Verdad? Mm -hmm. Would you like? ¿Te gustaría? Ah, okay. Porque si te fijas, like es gustar, ¿verdad? Mm -hmm. Entonces, gustaría. Ah, ok. Would thank you love? You. ¿Te encantaría? Mm -hmm. Would you love? ¿Te encantaría? Mm -hmm. ¿Verdad? Ah, okay. eh, es, 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 o sea, si querés traducirlo tal cual, así mm -hmm. sería. Mm -hmm. Pero, este, supuestamente el good es como, 
un, un, te ayuda para, para dar un énfasis de que estás ofreciendo, ¿verdad? O sea, es, es de la forma más polite de sugerir o de ofrecer algo a alguien. Uh, ok, thank you, teacher. Good and can. We use good and can for offering to help someone. Would you like some help? ¿Te gustaría algo de ayuda? Would you like some help? Okay. Can I help you? ¿Te puedo ayudar? Can I give you a hand with that? ¿Puedo darte una mano con eso? O sea, el can, este sí tiene una traducción. Es poder. Mm -hmm. Can. Pero el good, a la hora de traducirlo, sería solo como el suffix. El ia. Día. ¿Te gustaría? Y sure. Yes. And good uh, is. ¿Podría? Sí. Pero en el caso cuando ya se une con otro verbo, entonces es solo ia. Ok, teacher. Porque si te Thank fijas, you. would you like, te gustaría. No está diciendo uh -huh. podría gustarte. Uh -huh. ¿Verdad? Oh, ok, teacher, thanks. Ya would sabes. You, you Could and can. We also use models for asking for something. Making requests or asking permission. Now, repeat after me. Can you do me a favor? Can you do me a favor? Can you do me a favor? Este, una aclaración. Algunas veces yo escribo como que fuera británica. Entonces, favor para los, para los de habla americana es en esa U. Es como cuando también usted pone neighbor. Neighbor para mm. los americanos es solo con O. Pero para los británicos es con OU. ¿Ok? Neighbor. ¿Ok? Entonces, en ese caso, ahí lo escribí como británico, no es que esté mal escrito. Ahí sí, no me he equivocado. Ok, <laughs> teacher. Can you do me a favor? Can you do me a favor? Could you say thanks to your mom for me? Could you say thanks to your mom for me? Could I speak to Amy, please? Could I speak to Amy, please? Amy, please? Amy, please? Ok. Entonces, cuando ocupamos could, es como con más, más... Es, es pidiendo un permiso, pero very polite, ¿verdad? Mm -hmm. Now. Can or may I help you? En el caso aquí, yo, si voy a hacer un request, más ocuparía may. May I help you? ¿Le puedo ayudar? Mm -hmm. Porque can I help you? Para mí el can es algo de poder. O sea, habilidad. ¿Ok? Por mí can, ability. O sea, si usted puede o no puede hacer algo. ¿Verdad? Entonces, una cosa es may I help you? Y la otra es, can I help you? Porque el can no depende de si la otra persona le quiere dar el permiso, sino que si usted puede o no puede hacer algo. ¿Verdad? Now, can I have a box of cough drops? Can I have a box of cough drops? Could I have something for a cough? Could I have something for a cough? May I have a bottle of aspirin? May I have a bottle of aspirin? A propósito, hay varias cosas aquí que no están en la en la plataforma, pero yo se las pongo como de refuerzo. ¿Verdad? Por eso es que siempre les mando los GPT a, a WhatsApp, porque hay cosas aquí que, que yo las investigo por otro lado o lo saco de otros lugares. 
Thank you, teacher. Okay, modal verbs. What do you suggest for dry? Uh, what do you suggest for dry skin? Or what do you have for dry skin? Okay. Now repeat after me. What do you suggest for dry skin? What do you suggest for dry skin? What do you have for dry skin? What do you have for dry skin? Try some of these lotions. Try some of these lotions. I suggest some ointment. I suggest some ointment. You should get some skin cream. You should get some cream. Este, yo le voy a, a, a decir Teacher. Yes. Teacher, sorry, I have a question. What is the meaning oint ointment? ointment. Un guento. Yes. Ah, un okay, thank you. Ointment. Un guento. Acuérdense que eh, lotion es como la crema. ¿Verdad? Lotion es como la crema, así como body lotion. ¿Verdad? Si usted compra una crema y dice body lotion. ¿Verdad? Okay. Eh, ointment sería como, como un guento, el, el ligamento, así como digamos. Como los que vienen, como los que vienen en tubos. Ah, ok, teacher. ¿Verdad? Como los okay. que vienen en tubos. Ahí dice ungüento, ¿verdad? Tal cosa. Ok, teacher, thank you. Y, y esta skin cream es así, una crema. La diferencia tal vez entre cream y lotion sería de que como que la lotion es como más delgadita. ¿Verdad? Y la cream es, es más, más, más espesa. Por ejemplo, el, la, la Nivea sería cream. Cream. ¿Verdad? Y, uh -huh. y, y la lotion sería esas que son como más líquidas. Como, la, como los bronceadores, más o menos así, como, exacto, como exacto. transparentes, algo así. Ajá, más, más líquidas. Ok, teacher. Ok. Thank you. You're welcome. Now, modal verb. Can, food, and may. In questions forms to suggest or give advice. Okay. Now, eh, aquí está otra fórmula. ¿Verdad? La fórmula es modal verb plus subject plus verb. In this case, have plus complement. Okay. Can I have some eye drops? Repeat. Can I have Can some I have eye drops? Some eye drops? Yes. I drop. I have May I have an ointment? May I have an ointment? Could I have some aspirin? Could I have some aspirin? ¿Saben qué otro sería también como un guento? Este, eh, el, ese tatum fuerte. E ese sirve así, digamos, para, para caídas, cuando, cuando un niño se cae y queda todo dolor. morado. Mm -hmm. Entonces, usted compra ese tantum forte y se lo pone y eso rápido le, le, le baja lo le, morado. Le de... la, lo, la hinchazón. Yes, sí. Y la hinchazón también. Ajá. Entonces, ese es un ointment. Otro ointment mm -hmm. es este, el de titín. El de Cicín es otro ointment. Con, okay, con la ventaja de que el de Cicín, eh, no sé si se han dado cuenta que algunas veces uno se pone negro por, por lo de desodorante. Que algunas veces hay desodorantes que lo, que lo, que lo manchan a uno. Entonces, yes, es, sí, sí. es cierto que el de Cicín huele espantoso porque huele como que fuera pescado. Pero si usted se echa un poco de ese de Citín, okay. eh, eh, en las partes donde, donde se, se le ha puesto negra la piel, como a la semana ya lo tiene chelito otra vez. ¿Verdad? Es ah, bueno okay, para, para, para quitar eso. Entonces, para no andar con ese mal olor en la mañana, es mejor ponérselo en la noche, deja actuar toda la noche y ya en la mañana se baña y ya se quita el tufo. ¿Verdad? 
Okay. Yo he, he podido hacer eso. Gracias, teacher. Bien. Thank you, teacher. Ya saben. Could I have some aspirin? Could I have some aspirin? Va, y vamos al knowledge check. Vale, estamos en el 2.11. Ok. Complete these conversations with the modal verb can, could, may, have, try, suggest, or should. Este ha, have and try no son, no son, no son este modal. Los modal son can, could, may, eh, y should. Ok. Now, complete, eh, a ver. Aquí sería. May. 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 Can, 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 can I help you? Can. May can. I help you? May o sea, I help you? podría ser can, ¿verdad? Pero en mi caso yo prefiero usar may. Ok. Y después aquí, yes. Call. Can I help sometimes? I help Can. En este sí. Can I have something for itchy eyes? Ese itchy eyes es que, que pican, que los ojos pican. Okay, okay. Sure, I suggest, suggest, yes. suggest. suggest a bottle of eye drops. Yo le voy a decir, for me the best eye drop I could ever have is a boil water with salt. You boil the water with salt and then you let it uh, get cold and you use it to wash your, your eyes. And it's even better uh, for, for sometimes you get very red and, and, and swallow. Que dicen que tienen, ¿cómo se llama eso? Conjuntivitis. If you use that with, 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 You put uh, some cotton with that water in your eyes and you are cured for the next day. Le va a arder, se va a acordar de mí, de todas mis parientes mujeres, pero se va a curar rápido. Okay, teacher, thanks. <laughs> Thank you, teacher. <laughs> De, de Aquí estamos anotando las recetas. Sí. De, de todas Teacher. mis ancestras. <risa> ok. What do you have? Have. What do you have, have. for sore muscle? Muscle. muscle? You could. You oh. could try this ointment. It's excellent. May, may I have a box of bandages, please? And what do you have for insomnia? And some of this, sería try, ¿verdad? Try, yes. try some of this herbal tea. It's very relaxing. Espérense, aquí hay uno malo. You. Sure. You. Sol. 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 Vamos a ver ahora. Hoy sí. Ok, yes, should. You should try this ointment. Ok. Do you want to copy it? Yes. 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 No, the three eight. Okay. May I help you? Yes. Can I have something for itchy eyes? Sure. I suggest a bottle uh -huh. of eye drop. What do you have 
Forzor Muscles. Aquí sí está bien escrito, Sor Muscles. You should try this ointment. It's excellent. May I have a box of bandages? Please. And what do you have for insomnia? Try some of this herbal tea. It's very relaxing. Okay. Now we have will develop listening skills for specific information. Okay. Oops. Vale, le voy a poner el listening. ¿Y qué le pasa a esto? Que me digan que yo tengo que ver. Parece que... Se acabó y no me avisó. Vamos a poder hacerlo más. Vamos a ver. Escucha. No, teacher. No. No se escucha, ¿verdad? No, teacher. No, teacher. No, teacher. Permítame. Vamos a ver. Listen to four people talk to a pharmacist. Check. Ahora sí. Hoy, hoy sí se escucha. Hello. Hello. No, teacher. No, teacher. No, es que ahorita lo quité, pero escuchen ahorita. Listen yes, to teacher. Four yes, yes, teacher. Check each person's problem. One. Can I help you? Yes, I'd like something for my feet. I went on a long hike yesterday and my feet are really sore. I see. Why don't you try some of this ointment? You can put it on at night. It's very good for sore feet. I use it myself, actually. Two. Excuse me. I'm looking for something for a stomachache. I see. How long have you had this problem? 
for a few days and it's getting worse. I'll give you some pills to take for a few days. They should help. Take two of these three times a day with meals. Three. Can I help you? Yes. I just came back from London on a long flight and I'm having trouble sleeping. We have several things for that, including sleeping pills. But I suggest you try some of this herbal tea. It's very good for jet lag. Drink some before you go to bed at night. Thanks. I'll try it. I don't like taking sleeping pills. Four. Good morning. What can I do for you? Um, I need something for a burn. I burned my hand a little when I was cooking last night. Okay. Somebody asked me here, eh, what's the meaning of may? May es como poder, pero de pedir permiso. O sea, puedo hacer tal cosa. En cambio, el can es poder, pero de tener la habilidad de. O sea, I can swim, ¿verdad? I can talk. I can eh, cook. ¿Verdad? Entonces, que tener la habilidad de hacer algo es que no. Okay. Y may es como un poder, pero pidiendo permiso. ¿Verdad? O sea, me permite. ¿Verdad? May I. ¿Ok? Y se ocupa más que todo para pedir permiso. ¿Verdad? El may. ¿Le puedo ayudar? May I help you. ¿Verdad? May I go out? May I take the phone call? ¿Verdad? Bien. Este, ahora vamos con esto. A ver, dice choose on each person's problem. Okay. The, the first man, what's, what's the first man's problem? Do you want to listen again? Yeah. Okay. Yes, teacher. Yes, teacher. No quiere caminar esta cosa, permítame. Si alguna vez les agarra la chiripiola. Lo veo. Okay. Vamos a ver otra vez. Listen to four people talk to a pharmacist. Check each person's problem. One. Can I help you? Yes, I'd like something for my feet. I went on a long hike yesterday and my feet are really sore. I see. Why don't you try some of this ointment? You can put it on at night. It's very good for sore feet. I use it myself, actually. Okay, what happened with the first man? The men's feet are sore. 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 Okay, now number two. Two. Excuse me. I'm looking for something for a stomach ache. I see. How long have you had this problem? For a few days, and it's getting worse. I'll give you some pills to take for a few days. They should help. Take two of these three times a day with meals. Okay, in this case, they put upset stomach. No, she has stomach ache. Okay? She has a stomach ache. One thing is upset stomach and another thing is stomach ache. Porque stomach ache es que le está doliendo el estómago. Mm -hmm. En cambio, un upset stomach, usted puede estar, qué sé yo, con gases, pero no le duele. O sea, solo está como inflamado. O puede estar que siente el revoltijo ahí, pero no le duele. ¿Verdad? O sea, un upset stomach, incluso usted puede 
estar con la sensación de que quiere vomitar, eso es un objeto, pero no le está doliendo. ¿Ok? Un malestar. Sí, o sea, un malestar estomacal es malestar estomacal. Pero cuando ya a uno le duele, es estomacal. Uh -huh. Pero lo vamos a poner esto porque esta debe ser la respuesta. ¿Okay? Pero bueno. no, estoy, no estoy de acuerdo con ninguna de las dos opciones. Ok, number three. Can I help you? Yes. I just came back from London on a long flight, and I'm having trouble. We have several things for that, including sleeping pills. But I suggest you try some of this herbal tea. It's very good for jet lag. Drink some before you go to bed at night. Thanks. Uh, have you ever uh, know about jet lag? ¿Han escuchado alguna vez eso del jet lag? ¿No? Eso le da, le, le da a las personas que, que, que cambian de zona horaria cuando van, cuando van viajando en avión. Digamos, si vienen, si vienen de Europa para, para América, este, cambian bastante de zona horaria. También de Australia para América también cambian bastante de zona horaria. Entonces, digamos que salieron de noche y llegan de noche, pero ya es la noche del siguiente día o algo así. ¿verdad? Entonces, este, eh, esa gente sí, tiene sí, problemas sí. para dormir porque está acostumbrado a dormir, qué sé yo, cuando allá es hora de dormir, aquí es hora de andar trabajando. ¿verdad? Entonces, ese se llama jet lag, ¿verdad? Jet lag. Eh, for, for me, I think the best way to avoid that is not to sleep the day before. O sea, antes de viajar, usted no duerma antes de viajar y mientras usted va en el vuelo, ahí se va a dormir. Y cuando usted no, ya llegue al lugar, ya va a estar tranquilo. No, no es posible, teacher, por la turbulencia en el aire. Ya, ya lo viví yo en ese viaje. No Ay, no. Usted, usted imagínese que está en una hamaca. Ese, ese, ese día me, me bajé salto del avión, usted. Qué cuarto. Mire, ya, ya estaba pidiendo usted que le dieran un paracaídas. No, porque en el Océano Atlántico la temperatura es bajo cero. Qué cuarto. Sí. Complicado. Le, le pasó feo. Súper. Yo nunca he estado en Europa. O sea, nunca he... Yo solo he viajado en América. ¿Sí? Solo, solo conozco América. Y no la conozco toda. A Canadá nunca he ido. Este, México tampoco nunca he ido. Pero sí conozco... I, I, I have been in United States. And I have been in all Central America and also in Colombia, Ecuador, Peru, and Chile. Excellent. <laughs> No, no quiere ahora. Vamos a hacer lo mismo de la vez acá. Vamos a ver. Le agarra la chiripiolca a estas fronteras. Pero yo como soy más necia que ellos. Ok. Listen to four people. Yeah, I just came back from London on a long flight. I'm having trouble sleeping. We have And I suggest you try some of this table too. It's very good for breakfast. Drink some before you go to bed at night. Thanks. I'll try it. I don't like taking sleeping pills. 
four. Good morning. What can I do for you? Um, I need something for a burn. I burned my hand a little when I was cooking last night. Look here. Oh, yes. I'll give you some cream for it. After you put on the cream, place a bandage over it for a few days. You should be fine. Thank you. Okay. Listen to four people. Now, finish to finish. Uh, the man's feet are sore. The woman has the stomach. The man has to sit sleeping. And the woman burned her hand. Y terminamos. Si ustedes han estado con su con su con su plataforma abierta, ahorita ya están listos para que mañana les revisen lo que sea. Okay. Yes, teacher. Okay, yes, thank you. Thank you, teacher. Okay, see you okay. on Monday. You, Have a nice weekend. Remember, tomorrow no classes, but you can, if you need something, you can contact me by WhatsApp. Okay? Okay, okay. okay teacher. Okay. Take care. Okay. Bye bye. Good night. Bye bye, bye, -bye. teacher. Bye. Bye. See you on Monday. Thank you, teacher. Good Monday. Take care.